Ladies and gentlemen, today I am announcing a suspension of my campaign for President of the United States. Mr. Athlocky, there are rumors going around that a horse's head was found in your suite at Motel 6. Any truth to this? I know nothing. Nothing. More specifically, the horse's head was found in your bed. I saw nothing. I know nothing. What is your opinion of the political process? I have found politics to be corrupt, despicable, and criminal. This is my last press conference. You won't have Dick Ola Flockett to kick around anymore. Any last words? Beware of who you vote for. I'm going home to Oregon and wash off the filth of this campaign. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. Overnight package for me. Wonder what this could be. It's me, Buzz. What the? You miss me? <laughs> oh my God, it's Dickel. Well, this thing has been clamped for five days. You think the glue's dry? No. I think so. Take that off. All right, tough guy, take it off. That off. Well, this is getting exciting. There we are, with the side on it. This looks pretty good. There's the inside here. You can see I put the glue box on here. And here's some pictures of uh, me gluing those on there. These were all soaked with vinegar. So I had to clean them off real good. The ones that are curved here, I completely had to redo them. I mean, the, the vinegar separated all the plywood on here, so I had to uh, re-glue all three of them. I think that's uh, pretty strong. This wood's pretty old here. I think I'll put a coat of uh, polyurethane or something on it just to protect it. Pretty old stuff. Be quiet, you old bag. Now I'm going to concentrate on this weird little... Uh, corner here I showed you last time. That's so weird though, isn't that weird? I'm gonna grind this down and put some putty in, on this side. Funny thing is, uh, this side here is not quite right either. So whoever did this originally messed up. Really messed up. I'm gonna have to put some putty on here. And some putty on this side. Let's get to work. Okay, let's see if we can grind that down without screwing it up. Can I use my Dremel tool? You know, I don't mean to embarrass you, but I'm a rather brilliant surgeon. Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What hump? Ran until it failed. <laughs> You know, I believe we're making progress. I better do the rest by hand. I don't want to take too much off. Because if you take too much off, you can't put it back. Right? Right. Sandpaper if you want to come off any other way. Nail file? I'll bet any quantum mechanic in the service would give the rest of his life for a chance to fool around with this gadget. Well, I'm real satisfied with the way that turned out. Nice and clean. Well, there's that piece I sanded that was sticking out. It's uh, nice and flush here. This whole end piece here is going to be staying a, a dark brown, so it's not going to show. Well, let's go ahead and put some uh, wood filler in there. I got it thinned out pretty thin here, so hopefully it won't drip all over the place. Think thin. Too thin, Ru! 
pushed it too thin! This stuff sets up very fast, so... <laughs> you were always thin, eh, Pablito? Use your finger! Just like the boy who stuck his finger in the dike. <laughs> ah! I'll just keep my finger here until it hardens. What a dope! I'll have to do this in two stages. The first, that bottom portion, when that dries, I'll, I'll put some over on the top of that. Well, I wised up and uh, put some tape around it. Let's try it now. Peanut butter? It's uh, Laura Scudder's peanut butter, sir. Well, it's probably overkill, but uh, that'll work. It sands off very easy. Well, old Buzz went hog wild with the wood filler. I put a bunch on around here, you can see. I put some more up here, here, all the way around the edge. Here's, here's where I put that around with tape. I'm going to sand that. Okay. I put some here because there was cracks in here. Cracks in here. And this cabinet was ready to fall apart. Oh no. There was a big hole here I filled it up. <laughs> and a big hole here. Oh, oh good lord. Put some more on the on the rear here. Because I did all this. Because I gotta get ready for the stain on it. And I want it to look its absolute best. I agree with that profoundly. I bought some new stain I'm gonna put on here. And I can't wait to uh, put it on and we'll see what it looks like. Well, I have spent two to three hours sanding this down. Fork! Fork! Both ends. End of story. This part, the inside, this was uneven here, so I, I just added some filler on here. Good piece of wood, too. I'm going to try this first. This is uh, an Inwax pre stained wood conditioner with John from Arkansas's picture. Oh, brother! And uh, we're going to put that on there, let it set for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to put it on this stain I just bought. It's a special walnut. Something special? Let's get busy. I think I feel a song coming on! Looks mighty fine, doesn't it? Okay, we'll let that soak in for 15 minutes. We'll be back with the stain. I didn't, I didn't put this on here because uh, that's going to be done later. And when you put that on there, you got to use it within a certain amount of time. This is probably going to be done in the next day or two. All right. Okay, let's do some staining here. Here 
Well, I'm going to do some tests here. This uh, dial. If anything goes wrong, just dial 911. It's kind of dirty. You can tell right there. Dirt here, dirt here. Not too bad around here. This is the type of material that I forget what they call this. I don't know, Chumley. I think it was pretty common in the 30s. Common knowledge. So, my first thing I'm going to try. We can try it down here. I'm just going to use a magic eraser with nothing on it. I don't think this is going to work, but uh, we'll see. I'll concentrate right here. Took some of it off. That worked pretty good. I also have here some Dawn uh, dishwashing liquid. Let's just put a little here. And use the magic eraser. Let's try a little bit of the dawn around here where the numbers are. A drop of dawn and grease is gone. That looks pretty good. And it didn't take the uh, the ink off here. I'm gonna try it over here. Hey, hey, hey be careful! Be careful! Uh, don't wreck our own place. Seems to be working, and it's not taking off any of this here. So let me do a test right here. I'm not going to press too hard. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do the whole thing. Go whole hog. Okay, Buzz, cue the hog noise. You should be careful. Wouldn't it be funny if all of a sudden it came off, huh? You would hear me screaming. You could hear me all the way to Arkansas. Ah! I think that looks pretty damn good compared to what it looked like. Here's some of the crap it took off. Let's do a little bit more around here. All right, there you go. Looks like this is uh, whatever they used here, this paint, it's not coming off with water. So I lucked out there. You lucky monster. Pretty cool. And there's the final product. It was just as dirty behind here as it was here. And that looks like a winner. Boy, I like that. Why don't you take a picture of the last longer? So this is going to close out today's video. Yesterday I heard uh, Patty Duke died, and uh, I used to watch that TV show when I was a kid. My older brother Tom had a big crush on Patty Duke. So, to close out the video, 
Let's take a look at Patty. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair! But they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. One pair of matching bookends, different as night and day. Where Kathy adores a minuet, the ballet russe. And Crepe Suzette Our Patty loves to rock and roll A hot dog makes her lose control What a wild duet Still they're cousins Identical cousins And you find They laugh alike They walk alike At times they even talk alike You can lose your mind When cousins Are two of a kind The Patty Duke Show is brought to you by Breck Hair Set Mist.